We're on the beautiful Port Hacking River today. I'm out with my wife who's doing the filming at the minute. But have a look at this, yabby beds everywhere, so many holes. The seagulls behind me, well, they think they're getting an easy feed because the tide has just started in. It's just ankle deep right here at the moment. We've uh, anchored the beautiful freestyle, the Quintrex freestyler. Big e tech on the back, 200 horsepower going. We've got all the, all the stuff on it. But today we're up on the flats. We're going to have some fun. Cracking day, the cicadas are roaring in the dis distance. And uh, I'm going to get some of these beautiful yabbies. I've got one of these Plano buckets, very easy to, to, uh, to keep your yabbies alive. And um, these are fantastic. And we change the water every 20 minutes or so. Just flip it out, put some new clean water in, and throw your yabbies back in the drink. Now there's so many holes around. I'll give you an idea. It's a little bit more difficult. You just probably want four pumps because these guys, look, look at that one there. Just throw them up around the rim. Another one there. They have a tendency, because there's so many holes, to go back down those holes. So you've got to be very quick. And if you do too many pumps, you end up missing the ones that you've already got, got out here. So what's happening now, the yabbies are coming right up out of their, out of their holes because this is the perfect time when the whiting come up on the flats, look at that big fella, and feed on them. So they come in, the whiting will suck them out once they find those ones that are really close to the surface. And that's what happens, they bury themselves nice and deep on the, on the low tide or when there's no water here. And these yabby pumps are just sensational. As you can see, this is an oldie, but uh, they are just fabulous. Look at that guy going down there. Nice big yabby. You can see that's a male, huge nipper. And the females often have eggs all lined up under here. Now you don't have to let them go, the females, but sometimes it's a good idea if you're catching too many females, all rowed up with eggs, put a few back. All right, we can basically pump anywhere here. And uh, the, fat, the flats are just absolutely brilliant. So full of life with these. And uh, the fish that we'll catch with these, oh, that one there. And just a word of warning because this is a great thing to do with kids, but that nipper there, if it gets hold of you and uh, pierces your skin, well, the kids will be yelping because I know I yelp when it happens. And they dig right in pretty sharp. Now, generally they won't be doing that straight away. As you can see, they're just sitting happy in my hand. And when, you, when you're actually baiting up, you can break that nipper off, throw it away, and now you've got a yabby all ready to go, kids free. So they're not gonna be screaming the kids when they pick them up. But um, that guy just had a bit of a bite. Now, it's just great fun to do for kids and families, but for me, we've got the boat sitting out here. We're basically gonna spend the next few hours as the tide starts to build. We'll uh, hop out of the boat and have a swim. The water's beautiful and warm. Up on the flats, it's always warmer than out in the main current as well. And uh, we've got the umbrella up, we've got the uh, fruit salad, we've got the works there. So this is uh, holiday ET time. No, uh, no cameraman, well, my wife's here with the camera, just getting a few little, few little pictures of us uh, doing this. And what I'll do is basically uh, rig up some whiting um, sticks and uh, with four pound fluorocarbon trace, the yabby on the end, just float them out or a tiny ball sinker or you can do a sinker, swivel, about 40 centimetres of four pound fluorocarbon down to your sharp gamakatsu hook. And those worm hooks are absolutely a must for this sort of fishing. You'll hook every whiting that has a bite. Now the whiting are gonna push up over this flat. What happens when you are pumping like this, you uh, create sort of a bit of a mud storm. So as you can see that, that dirt all just all just coming out everywhere and what the what the whiting love to do I'll we'll grab a couple of those yabs what the whiting love to do is feed about 10 meters beyond here so if I had a rod at the moment a nice long cast you're gonna actually catch yourself a, a nice feed of whiting right here and if you can continue this on keep it moving 
on their, on their land. Keep this on, it's a really good way to burley as well. Fantastic way to burley. And once you've got enough, well, this sort of will attract the whiting right in. And you'll find that out on the fringes, the bigger whiting will be. So a nice long cast, and, uh, and you'll have some fun. All right, I'm gonna get about another 20. Jump back in the boat and just have a lovely day. Haha, <laughs> nearly 2019 and loving it.